What's up, Doug at Eden Lawn Services? Mmm. It's a beautiful morning, guys. Beautiful morning. It's gonna be about 90 degrees today. Yeah. Just like yesterday, it was 90 degrees. It was hot, man. It was hot. Yesterday was the day we rolled through 20, 24 lawns, 90 degrees. That's right. We're dry heat here. We'll be mowing at 105, 110 degrees here before long. <laughs> true story, guys. True story. All right. So, uh, the incident where Laura threw her weed eater off the bridge in, in the bottom of the Snake River, uh, we ended up missing some blocks for the equipment defender rack. So I had to order more blocks and they came in. So let's put them on so we can get the FS-111 right here, which has just been sitting in the bed of the trailer, up in the rack. That's what we're doing today. So sit tight, let's do this. Mm. Gotta open it up first and see what we got. Let's see what equipment defender sent me, man. Look at that, brand new blocks, brand new blocks. Sweet. Ah, oh, the steel tool. It's handy for more than just working on the steel. Okay, guys, I had to zoom in a little bit here so you can see what's going on. So this back block, you need to have it about a half inch away from the handle so it still can fit in the rack. If you get any closer to that, it'll hit your handle and it won't go in. So that's what we set first. Set it on there like that. Throw the screws in it. Okay, we just snug those up so you can just barely turn it by hand. And uh, let's stick it up in the rack here. And the reason we do this is so we can get it set. Okay, so you can see the handle just barely fits there. You want that as tight as possible. And I'll show you why here later, why we like it tight. But now that we have that set, we need to set our motor to the right angle of the, uh, the motor support system. So we need to turn the weed eater to get it set right. So it sets level on the motor support, the motor support bracket. So that looks to be really darn close, right there. Now, we need to go to this end, and we need to put the other side on. Now, we ah, didn't loosen it up enough. You can run them this way, guys, or you can run them this way for combis so they can't steal everything. We tend to run ours this way, so... I don't know. This is how we do it. Okay. I'm going to move the camera so you can see this. Hopefully you can see it. So we don't push this all the way up against the bracket. We leave a little tiny gap in there um, just so it gives you a little wiggle room on the other side to get it put in. So if you run these 100% snug up against the bracket, then you have no wiggle room, room and it seems harder to get the weed eater in the rack. So we just just give it a little bit of a gap, but I'm talking, you know, I'm talking 30 second of an inch. It's just a little tiny gap. All right, so we get that on there, make sure it's all straight, you know, because we can't have everything crooked. And let's tighten this one down. Now guys, this isn't crank it down until the bolt strips by any means. It's just a snug up. These, these blocks hold really well. You don't need to crank them down. Matter of fact, if you crank them down too far, you will uh, you will crush your shaft. So do not do that. There we go, done. Okay, back to the other side. Okay, now on this side, we can't tighten this block down because you can't have access to the screws. So you actually have to take it out. Now, while taking it out, you do not want to turn that block. So be very, very careful. Because we have it set. And there you go. So she's out. She's right where we want it. And we can tighten it down. And again, same with this, guys. 
it's not that much torque. These will crush the shaft if you go if you get crazy. And we don't want to crush the shaft, especially on my brand new 111 RX. Okay, let's tighten down. Now, last thing that we need to do. Uh, well, we don't need to, but I want to. I like to run my handles as close to the trigger as possible. And uh, we've always just kind of left these anti-vibration things on here. So you can see there's quite a bit of gap there. We're gonna move this handle up. That's why we have the steel tool. Loosen her up a little bit. Slide it. There we go, let's make sure it's straight. Go up on it. Right there. That's perfect. Tighten it down. Okay. Now we're set. We got the handle close. I like it that way. I like it closer. Matter of fact, sometimes if I really want it close, close, I'll take this off and move the handle up about here. Closer means less arm movement, faster trimming. But you have to be a good trimmer to do that. Get it too close and your knob you're gonna make a mess. All right, put her in for the final test. And we're done. She's in. Uh, I do have to adjust this motor mount. Uh, it's set up for a different weed eater. So I won't let you guys see that boring, boring part of doing that. But that's it. Box are installed on the uh, 111RX. And I'm happy because now I got my, my weed eaters in the rack, not rolling around on the trailer. So we got the 111RX. Laura's brand new, second brand new 94R. And then the uh, bottom one here is a uh, 111 Combi that we run the uh, whoop, straight shaft edger on and a Darwin grip. Yeah, there it is, Darwin grip. So that's it for today's guys. That's that's today's video. We put the blocks for my equipment defender on the rocks and everything's secure again now. So we will catch you later. Bye.